everyone, what's up? A Hickman 2 here. Welcome back to another MXers ATV Reflex Custom Track Review. Today we are going to be going over the Pine Acres Custom Track made by Gary. Um, I think there's some numbers and stuff after his name, but I apologize, can't remember that off the top of my head. But he is the same guy who made the Cool Rhythms Track, which is an awesome Supercross track. And as you can see, I got new gear, new bike skin, and that's because I am now on FFMX Racing. Um, change teams. So as you can see, amazing sky, uh, awesome just objects, really well done from uh, like a looks part point of view. Um, I have heard of people have that they have problems with um, white textures. Now, what I've heard from people is saying that if you don't have an Nvidia video card, then you're gonna have white textures. Um, so that might solve some of your problems, but as you can see lots of objects here um, Lots of just awesome, and it's really slippery um, There's some really slippery sections and basically the whole track gets really beat up. It's a supercross track But it's rides like a motocross track if that makes any sense whatsoever um, Oh, you can see going over the berm there a bit had to itch my nose as well so that's the finish line double right here and then you would land and then you'd do a triple into this really slippery and hard to get traction sand section into this little rhythm here I mean this guy is amazing at doing cool rhythm uh, cool rhythm sections and uh, these whoop sections are also these whoops are huge here you have to get on top or else you are going to be in trouble and up over this and then this triple is pretty huge. Let's go ahead and try this outside and you double. Jump up all the way over this. Jump up all the way over that. And then you would jump up on top of this table. Off. And into another sand section here. Pretty rough sand section. And then over the double here. Under this little dip thing. And then this is the part that really eats me alive, is these doubles, double, double through here. All the ruts and it's just craziness. Managed to get through it pretty decently that time. And uh, it's just, I cannot believe how much work he put into this. Hit a little triple double here into another big triple. Well, we're going to case that a while. And then we got a split lane here. Let's go ahead and take this outside. And grab that inside. Um, I think the other line is better. And we got... This booter here kicks you up, and I just look at this and realize how much work went into this, the softness map, which I absolutely hate making. He must have put so much time into the softness map. So let's try to jump up over the table, and then this, and it has the same result. There might be a better rhythm through there, I have not found it yet, though. Stupid hay bales. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I just look at this, he made it really soft, uh, the majority of the track is pretty soft. And yeah, textures are awesome. I really like these textures here as we're sliding out. I really like the textures and then they flowed really well together from one side of the track to another. And we gotta try to triple that. And then you could like quad into the corner if you hit it perfect. But the jumps do kind of boot you high, so I'm not sure how fast that would be. Alright, so as you can see it's getting really rough. Um, I actually live streamed last night and we played on this track a little bit and it got so rough. So let's go ahead and take this inside, single, and then I'm not even sure how to describe this, but I'm pretty sure you can go faster through there. I prefer the outside line because it's a little bit easier and I can hit it more consistently. But especially these sand corners and stuff, they get so rutted up and rough and stuff. Alright, so managed then to hit this somewhat decent. There we go. That was what I ha had so much troubles with when I first started riding the track was that right there. Alright. Triple. Thank you. Triple again. Thank you. Grab that. You can see there's a little wall there that prevents you from uh, going from one side of the track to the other. Alright. Now I know a lot of people have been having problems with the white textures. Now I haven't checked Reflex Central, but someone said that he posted a new one without objects, and apparently that fixed the texture problem. But I have not seen it, and because I probably haven't looked, so hopefully he still has this original track up um, because I really like it, especially when there we go, we're hitting the triple, triple, double. 
Especially with all the objects. The objects absolutely make the track look awesome. And that was actually a pretty decent lap there. Um, he basically said if you can run under 150 lap times, you are pretty good. So that's my fastest lap time I've actually turned in this track because I haven't really been able to put down many consistent laps. Just got back from New York yesterday, so I'm still trying to get back used to the game as I was gone for a week. So I'm not the smoothest. <laughs> All right, there we go. I had to do a bit of a whip glitch there. Scrub that. I really like this. You just go up over, up over, and then you jump up on this huge table. That's a huge jump there. And then jump to the inside. That's I really like that. And um, yeah, just overall, this is a very well-rounded track. Um, nothing wrong with it that I can see. Whoops, <laughs> as I kill myself. Um, it's just a little soft, which can make multiplayer racing really hectic, um, and craziness, and just hard to find lines and stuff, so yeah. Anyway, we'll go ahead and, uh, do a couple more laps here. Um, I'm really enjoying this track, so, uh, maybe we'll have a little bit longer of a review here. Up over, not quite. This is like a booter here, and you might be able to jump all the way up to like there, but I'm not sure if that really is fast. And just like miniature whoops through here, it's just a little stuff like that. Um, one thing that's kind of cool is you see that inside line back there. I like to see some of that throughout the rest of the track. Just uh, inside lines, even if they won't get used, they're just nice to have uh, for options and stuff and trying to pass people and everything. Oh, wheel tap ain't working for me today. <laughs> So yeah, some inside lines would be kind of nice, uh, except for right here, like uh, no need to use an inside there, no one would use that because you jump into the finish line. Oh wow, sliding out, no chance of hitting that triple. Alright, just had to itch my nose. <laughs> now these whoops are just huge, if you can't get on top of them, you're going to have a whale of time. <laughs> Oh gosh! Oh, we hit that dumb thing. And you hit that thing, and it gives you no mercy. You are going on the ground. Now I'm curious if you could like jump up on that there, and then you would like land right here, and then you just trip onto the table. I'm not sure if that's really worth it or much faster. We'll just all have to wait to see when Merlin or Tog post a fast lap video, basically. So this track kind of reminds me of what a Monster Energy Cup would be, except more motocrossy. It's a supercross track layout, but it's you have to ride it like a motocross track, and you have to be set up for motocross track because just how soft it is and how slippery it is in sections, it, it has a feel of a motocross track. There we go, nice big jump there. I really like this line because you can just rail that. and. Kill yourself on tough blocks if you want, you know, everything you want right there. But yeah, even just this little bit of sand right there, that's pretty cool. And uh, you can definitely tell he put a lot of time into this track. So um, yeah, make sure to go download it and give him some love because it's super well done and I just love it so much. So yeah, anyway, we're going to go ahead and finish this lap up, try to hit this double, triple, triple. And we'll go ahead and hop into first person here. And give ourselves a first person look at the track. Oh, off the track. That's not cool. Oh, ain't even going to make that double. That's pathetic. Let's go ahead and scrub that double. Double into the corner. Let's hit these whoops now. Full steam ahead. Managed to hit those pretty clean in the entire race. So I'm pretty happy about that. Oh, we're in a case this big time. Oh, case. <laughs> you might be able to triple out of that. I'm not for certain, but I haven't yet. All right. Yeah. Nope, ain't gonna make it on the table. Still managed to make it work though. Oh gosh. It seems like when I play in first person, I always come up short on things. I don't know what it is. Something with this FOV or what. I'm not sure. But it just seems a lot harder to ride in first person. 
We're getting a little sideways through the whoops, I can tell. There we go, managed to hit that triple up the thing there. Oh! Oh, we didn't catch that, but almost hit the wall. <laughs> Oh boy. Could kind of tell we were sideways there. On off. There we go. Oh boy, that's not going to work out well. Holy cow. Shouldn't have went to try. We shouldn't have tried to jump over that table. But I did anyway. Oh, scrub too much. No. <laughs> Doubling our way through the section here and coming to the finish line. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review. That's a body flip. And make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe if you enjoyed. And go check out the track. So I'll talk to you guys later.